Welcome to this video tutorial on how to search within the web interface of Euclid 6. Let's start with the simple search in a list of reference substances. Enter a search term into the box here and then click on the button with the magnifying glass. For a match to occur, the search term must occur at the start of the value, for example, sodium. To find the term elsewhere in a value, use the wildcard star, which matches one or more of any character. For example, to find the word sodium anywhere in the values, use star sodium star. Here we have matched tetrasodium. The search term can match values shown in the list of entities other than just the name. For example, entering an inventory number like this finds butanone. Searches are not case sensitive. Let's switch over to substances and open the advanced search. Filters are added by entering search terms into fields shown on the left, which depend on the type of entity. The search hits are shown on the right. Filters are shown in collapsible groups. The number of filters is indicated here. When opened, collapsible groups are shown to be separated by grey horizontal lines. A boolean AND is applied across groups and therefore across the grey lines. Entering no value applies no filter. It does not mean the field must be empty. The wildcard star applies in the same way that it does for simple search. Let's create an example where the name of the substance must begin with table salt and the reference substance at the top level of the substance must be sodium chloride. In some fields the value of the field can be another entity, for example reference substance. To add an entity click on select. This opens the linking functionality on the right here. In the box there is an automatic version of the simple search. Enter at least three characters to start searching at the start of terms. The wildcard star works here too. Advanced search is the same as that being shown now. Click on an entity to add it. More than one entity can be linked in a group, in which case a boolean OR is applied across them. In the impurities let's add more than one filter. I'm going to enter sodium again, this time select sodium iodide. There it is in place and then select another. So I enter POT for potassium and then select potassium chloride. Now you can see the impurity reference substance must contain either sodium iodide or potassium chloride. Finally, I will select an additive. I enter TET here and then select tetrasodium hexacyanoferrate. Click on search to run it. Here we can see the results on the right. If I remove the filter for the additive and then search again, the hit which does not contain additives appears. Note that the boolean AND is applied across the groups of filters for a whole entity. Therefore, if a substance contains more than one composition for it to match, there does not need to be a single composition that matches all the criteria for constituent impurity and additive. Now we come to searching by UUID. Every entity in Euclid has a universally unique identifier. These are sometimes available from external systems or when data is exchanged between users. To jump straight to an entity, simply copy and paste its UUID into this box on the dashboard. The search starts automatically and opens the entity at the top level. If you need more information about using Euclid, 
Remember that under this menu there are links to external sources of information and help. Also, there is a built-in user manual, which is accessed from here. Thank you for using Euclid 6.